In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can pick up and drop objects using a physics handle component. To start with, I'm going to open up my first person character blueprint, and I'm just going to start by creating a line trace system. So I'm going to right click and just type in line trace, and I'm going to get a line trace by channel. The start location for our line trace is going to be the world location for the player's camera. So I'm just going to grab the camera, drag it out, and type in get world location, and throw that into the start. The end location, we're going to drag out the camera again and get the forward vector and then multiply this by a float and I'm going to put the value here to something like 300 for the distance to go out in front of him and then we're going to add these two locations together to get the end point and we'll throw that in there and I'm going to put the forward duration on okay so we've got a line trace next thing we're going to do is come to the viewport here and take a look at uh, the physics handle so we can add a new component and we can add in uh, a physics handle which is going to be under physics and we can grab that there we can select it, it doesn't actually have a pivot or anything but what we will do is add in a scene component as well and we're going to use this for a pivot and this is going to be where our objects are, are going to be held basically so we're going to put this just around here and we'll see about that in just a second I'm going to rename this and call this uh, held object location and then we come back to the event graph and now with our physics handle component that we created we can click and drag it out onto the graph and we can drag it out and type in uh, grab component this is what we'll use to grab objects I'm just going to duplicate this with control W and to, to drop objects we can drag this out and just type in release component so these are the two functions we'll be using and what we can do here is just with the grab component, I'm going to move it up to my trace. With our line trace, we're going to drag out from the return value on the boolean here and just use a branch, which lets us know if the trace has hit anything. We can then check to see what is hit by breaking the hit result. And this is based on a component and not an actor. So we need to grab the component that's been hit and check to see if it's simulating physics. So we'll get the is simulating physics here. And then we can use another branch for this. So we can say we can do a line trace, check to see if it hits something. If it hits it, is it simulating physics? If it is, we can then grab that object. So we can then grab the hit component here and just throw that in there. Grab location, we can just use the world location of the object or the component. And just throw that in there. Okay. Now, the next thing we can do is take a look at how we can actually uh, set this up with a key event. So I'm just going to use uh, F for the time being. I'm also going to create two custom events here. The name of our first custom event is going to be pick up object. And I'm also going to create another one called drop object. Okay, so drop object is going to come down to our release component section and our pickup object is going to come to this line trace here okay and one more thing we need to do is just create a little check when we press F here so I'm going to create a new variable and just call this is holding object okay so when we press F we're going to do a quick check to say if we're holding an object or not if we are holding an object we want to drop that object so we're going to call our drop object function which will lead back to here and release the component if we're not holding an object we're going to try and pick up an object so we're going to use the pick up object which will fire this here okay so if we pick up an object we then want to say we are holding an object and if we drop an object we want to say that we're no longer holding an object now we can just throw that in there Okay, and the final thing we need to do is just grab our physics handle again and I'm going to use an event tick and we can drag out from the physics handle and just type in set target location. It needs to know where uh, the object is going to be moved to when we pick it up and we created that pivot point, the held object location at the start here. So we're just going to use this, drag it out and type in get world location. and connect that up like so. Okay, and now we can just jump in the game and give this a test. 
I'm going to select this cube and actually make it a bit smaller. Okay. I'm going to run up to it and press F and now I can pick it up. So I'm holding the object but when I look up and down you can't see it following the rotation of the camera. So to fix that we need to come back to the character blueprint and we just need to drag the held object location onto the player camera to make it a child and then we can jump back into the game. Okay so I can come up and pick up the object and you can now see that it's following the rotation of the camera. But it seems a bit close to the camera so to change that all we have to do is come back into the blueprint and then just move the grab location pivot. Okay, and now I can just jump back in the game and give that a go. I can go and pick it up and it seems like it's at a good distance. So one last thing we might want to add to this is to be able to detect the weight of an object before we pick it up because we don't want to pick up every single physics object. So with the component hit, we can drag it out and we can get its mass. And we can drag it out and use a less than symbol here and grab a float less than float and we'll connect this to another branch. So we can say only if this object is weighing less than 400 in mass we can then pick it up. So then that will prevent me from going and picking up these huge cubes but I should be able to come up to this cube here now and pick it up which I can. Okay so we can now pick up and drop objects of a certain weight. I hope this tutorial helps and thank you for checking it out.